Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are in the master bedroom and we are getting started on a somewhat spontaneous project. What are we doing, dear? Currently. Well, currently. Sure, what are you doing currently? <laughs> Making a, a head. Do you think you're gonna hit on this side? Probably not, I don't know. Mm. So no, this is not a pull-up bar, even though it sort of looks like it could be for your height. We are going to do a closet renovation. I know it looks really cool. We have this neat custom sagging, uh, I mean sloped uh, closet rod, shelf rod, whatever, clothes rod, and uh, super well organized closet as you can see. Uh, no, it's, it's obviously just exactly the way it was when we moved in. So I just put up this little temporary setup using leftover material from the bunk beds and that is the new closet rod, of course. That will give us somewhere to put all of these clothes. My lovely wife was like, hey, can we do something different with this closet? And I was like, sure. And so we're going to. She literally asked me, what, like Wednesday maybe? Wednesday afternoon or Tuesday and I was gonna be going to my brother's shop the next day to do some stuff and I was like, yeah, I'll just make a materials list and then go rip down some material and we'll be ready to go. So. Just it's just there's a lot of wasted space. And I said, I think we could make it to where we were wasting less space. Yeah. And it'd be nice to do, we don't have to do it. So Correct. we were like, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. And as soon as I finished putting this thing up a minute ago, I was like, I guarantee you I'm gonna hit my head on this corner because it's right in the path where I would walk out the door. And uh, she was like, I'll take some bubble wrap on it. So I'll still probably hit my head on it, but at least it won't hurt as bad. <laughs> so let's, uh, it's time to go ahead and pull everything out of here. I've already got all the materials in down in our, in our shop for everything. So we just need to empty the closet and get started. Hey, um, Daddy found this. What is it? A coin. A coin. Yep. And it was hiding behind. It was hiding behind one of the boards. Yep. It probably fell. Total, the, totally forgot to set up the GoPro, but yeah. Closet's empty. Was, were the walls blue in there too? Yeah, it looks like it. Like it. So the saga of finding old colors continues. We've got couple different colors of blue that used to exist in this closet. We got our little temporary closet dealio all set up. Scooch the bed over a little bit to make a little bit more space and yeah. And mom put that up there so daddy doesn't put his head. Yep. <laughs> that's where he, he just like gets out of bed and just walks out on like yep. morning. So crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a little bow. Mm-hmm. That's a. Do you do it? Do you remember what state I told you that was? Um, I forgot. It's a Virginia State Quarter. Virginia State Quarter. Yep. <laughs> That's actually all I'm gonna do for right now, cause I'm gonna be getting ready to go fishing here shortly. I'll come back to this uh, as soon as I can. So one of the things that often happens when you tear off trim like this is you get the drywall, uh, the the paper face of the drywall peeling. Sometimes even when you cut the caulk joint, uh, you have stuff like this happen. So I am going to peel and scrape all this crap. And then I've got some oil-based primer that I'm gonna use, which will seal this paper, uh, the paper face of this drywall, allowing me to do drywall work with water-based products. Cause if you don't do that, this paper will just absorb the water and you, it'll bubble all up and it'll make a mess. You'll have a hard time getting a good finish uh, moving forward. In this case, this is actually the paint that's peeling off. This is just a strip of paint that's peeled off the, the drywall itself. So primed poorly or no primer at all. Fun stuff. So I'm gonna clean up all this. And then once that primer dries, I'll be able to start doing the drywall work and skimming it out and um, then getting ready to fit the shelves. All right, well, hopefully you can see roughly how crazy I ended up getting with the scraping. I forgot to show it before I started priming, but you should be able to see uh, how far I ended up priming. 
I ended up pulling out most of the drywall in uh, quarter bead against that corner uh, all the way down top to bottom on the right side and then the top half here on the left side because it was just loose and pulling out really easily and the paper was also kind of going crazy so but it's fine it's a closet it's if this was if this was going to be a permanent thing i would probably just pull it all out and redo it but this is like everything we do on the first floor i've mentioned before in other videos we are going to do a like full gut reconfiguration remodel of our whole first floor eventually so any anything i do like anything my wife and i do on the first floor like our little kitchen remodel that we did you know starting the day we moved in back in october last year um it's all we're, we're not going we're not going all out we're going like good enough to you know get us through a few years because it's going to be getting torn out in a few years hopefully when we when we do uh pretty much gut the studs and reconfigure uh just refresh it for anybody who hasn't seen it before um this this is our master bedroom but there is no master suite in this house there's six bedrooms and two bathrooms and none of them connect to each other um i think they might have at one point it's possible that this first floor especially may have actually had a master suite and then they changed or maybe it never did but which is kind of weird but you know maybe that's just how it was built and so we're going to reconfigure it a little bit make it make a little bit more sense for our family uh so like i said we're keeping keeping the costs low on these kind of little updates here and there on the first floor um, because it's we're doing it all with the knowledge that it's going to get torn out eventually and not like 10 or 15 years eventually hopefully like you know three ish years eventually so that's that's why i'm not going crazy so this will be ready to start being worked on uh probably tomorrow after this cover stain dries so i'll be back at it then been a little while since I've been working on the closet uh, but I gotta say it's actually been sort of uh, lazily nice to have the clothes that close to the bed don't even have to go in the closet to get to them so it wasn't that big of a deal it's actually been several months I think uh, at least a couple months since I have been working on this closet remodel uh, and during that time uh, we actually ended up changing the design a little bit. I know I have not shown or talked about what the original plan had been, but I'll go ahead and show what the new plan that we've changed to is. So it'll be easier to see on this little drawing that this is what I'm gonna do. Like this this part would be the you know, perimeter of the closet. And we're just gonna do a single shelf and rod combo on the right side here and a double shelf and rod combo on the left side with uh, a shelf you know there'll be shelf space on each of these and then a, one long shelf across the top so that's where i have marked out i know you can't see because it's everything's white in here but this is the 42 inches off the floor for the left side and then 84 up at the top <clears throat> and then on the right side here is the 68 inch mark for the single rod so i'm now going to measure and cut the one by fours that will be the shelf supports for in here and then i will go ahead and get those installed
right, I've got all the painting done. And I've also got the shelves done. I already got the top set in there. And the other one will go in after I install the shelf rods here in just a second. It's pretty much done. So chopped it down to a 12 inch shelf on the top so we actually have room to you know reach and put something up there in that limited space and then we got 16 inch deep on the right and the left. And one of the things that ended up resulting uh, from our change of design is that the closet rod that I bought was no longer long enough because I was originally going to have basically a column of uh, cubbies if you will up the middle and so it would have resulted in this rod being long enough but changing it up I made mean, that no longer work so i gotta go buy one more rod but all the painting's done shelves are done just gotta go buy one more rod cut it and we are ready to put all of the clothes back in finally our makeshift shelf on the on the wall bedroom wall is no longer here just threw everything on the bed to get the, the rod off it is time to go ahead and put some clothes in the closet and clothes are in the closet. Some time has obviously passed since uh, the last clip you just saw, as evidenced by the fact that the walls are a different color. Uh, this is being filmed many months after the rest of that video was, and I did finally, it took me forever, but I finally went and got another clothes rod. So this one was not in for quite a while. Got it installed a couple days ago, and we put all of the close back in here so there's no longer a you know big temporary shelf rod on that wall got my hooks to hang clothes on again and yeah Courtney wanted to just basically put a coat of paint on the walls to get rid of the gray I don't remember the name of this color but it's kind of a I don't know a mint green or so maybe kind of a, a light like a sage green maybe that maybe that's better but yeah, this is way, way more functional than the last setup. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. So now that this project is done, we can move on to more projects because there's plenty more things to get to. And thanks for going on all these little renovation journeys with us. Uh, they're not stopping anytime soon because we've got lots of projects to do around here. So thanks. See you guys on the next one.